This is a 100 foot retractable tape with a high powered spring in it that actually works. Stay tuned because we're gonna talk all about tapes and measuring devices later in the show. Coming up, the IA firm Alacrity Solutions reopens their Waco Training Center to new recruits. IA Path presents a new virtual adjuster job fair coming soon. LiDAR comes to Xactimate Mobile's Sketch AR. Adjuster TV, that's us, has a brand spanking new sponsor. Your cat adjuster weather with Max Olson, a couple of cool job postings, and a discussion about measuring devices, including a sneak peek of a really cool gadget that I had no idea existed. But first, our NACA Minute. The National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters is an organization founded way back in 1976 to further advance the interests of catastrophe claims adjusters in the U.S. As part of our ongoing support for NACA, we feature interviews and coverage from this year's annual convention back in January. Here are some more interviews from the convention. Hi, my name is Jessica Hamilton. I'm the Senior Vice President of Business Development for Everill Claim Services, U.S. Adjusting, and CADI, which is the Claims Adjuster Training Institute. The reason why we're attending NACA is uh, in the industry, I believe that you have to be present to be known. And our, both of our companies have such a great reputation that we're always looking for adjusters that, that have passion and grit and professionalism. And I believe that the years that I've been attending NACA, it continues to grow better and better every year. So this is a great resource. I've met so many young adjusters that are in their 20s that I believe will be probably claims managers in the future. I mean, very impressed. And uh, I like that, that everybody came to actually meet and are taking it very seriously, the interviews. And I believe out of this conference, we'll get probably, I, I would say 10 to 20 great adjusters that we'll be able to use. Hi, I'm Mark Chinchetti. I'm from Warren City, Florida, which is uh, between Orlando and Daytona Beach. Um, I'm here at NACA 2021. Uh, my first time, new adjuster. Just got my license a few months ago. Just finished up the State Farm certification last month. Um, just accumulating licenses and uh, trying to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of networking done. See where what direction I'm going to go and where that's going to bring me after the uh, after the convention. And, Hopefully we can get out and start doing some work. My son and I are working as a team. We're coming in as a team, probably some team. Just watching the Adjuster TV and how important it was to do the networking side, it seemed like it would be a win-win to go into one place and hit 20, 30, 40 different good connections rather than trying to do that through the phone or showing up at somebody's office around the country. So uh, we decided we we're going to focus our efforts in and spend the money and spend the time and go to NACA and, uh, and take the time here and just walk around and get to know as many people as we can. And, try to utilize it as best we can. And for discounts on lodging, gear, training, licensing, and CE, as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorships, check out NACA right now at adjustertv.com slash NACA. And of course, the convention is an outstanding place to network and one of the best places to interview with dozens and dozens of IA firms all in one place. But it's not the only place. If you don't want to wait until January 2022 to interview with firms, there's another opportunity coming in just a few short weeks. Find out more coming up. I'm Matt, and you're watching Adjuster TV News. True or false? Loss of use coverage automatically includes paying for generators. Get the answer after the break. Hey, independent staff, catastrophic or daily adjusters, auto damage appraisers, and body shop estimators. I know what you're looking for. Work. But not just any work, the best work in the industry. The problem is it's time consuming and hard to find and onboard with enough companies to get the work that you really want. How can you connect with enough companies and let them see that you're worth taking a risk on? Well, I've got a solution for you. Introducing the iPath Adjuster Job Fair. This is an online event and platform that we've developed with you and the hiring companies in mind. You need companies and companies need you. So IAPATH is bringing you two together in a revolutionary way. With industry speakers, adjuster training, virtual boost for the hiring companies, plus scheduled live video interviews with top quality recruiters, all while you sit comfortably at home 
while IAPAP does the work of bringing the companies to you. But best of all, there's no hotel or travel costs and a virtual ticket to this three day event costs just $97. You can connect and interview with dozens of companies for less than $100. So if you're an adjuster or appraiser that's looking for more or simply different types of work, look no further than the IAPAP Adjuster Job Fair because you may never have to look again. Join us now and let us bring the companies to you. This live three-day event will take place July 12th through the 14th. And it's going to be in the evening, so you won't have to skip working to attend. Find out more by heading to adjusterjobfair.com. IA Path, claim your life. Okay, trivia answer. True or false, loss of use coverage automatically includes paying for generators. And the answer is false never automatically pay for things that insureds have used to protect their property from damage or to, you know, keep their AC on if it's just hot outside. Typically an insured will buy a generator so that they can keep the food in their fridge from going bad, which by the way is usually covered under homeowners policies. And what costs more, ketchup and chicken breasts or a $1,500 generator? That being said, your individual site management may say, Hey, we're paying for generators only under these specific circumstances, X, Y, and Z. Do not automatically pay for things like this without at least reaching out to your IA manager and asking. It could be that it makes sense to reimburse an insured for buying a generator on a specific case-by-case -case basis. IA Path is hosting a virtual adjuster job fair July 12th through the 14th. Adjusters can schedule online face-to-face -face interviews with 30 plus nationwide and regional hiring companies that handle catastrophic and daily property, auto, liability, and other types of desk claims. Companies include Alacrity, The Best Claim Solutions, QA Claims, ACD, SEA Claims, and many others. IAPATH founder Chris Stanley stated, we are doing this because it is hard to stand out in a stack of resumes, but we know for many adjusters, they just want a chance to make a personal connection between them and the recruiters and companies they want to work for. And that is really, really hard. We hope to make it easy for adjusters and recruiters to find each other. Admission also includes on-demand adjuster trainings, live adjuster workshops, and speakers, of which I will be one. Early bird tickets are available for 47 bucks until May 1st. To grab your ticket, head to adjusterjobfair.com. Up next, get a tour of the new Alacrity Solutions Training Center in Waco, Texas. Composition roofing material is measured in square feet, square cubes, cubic feet, or squares. You better know the answer to this one. These days, there are a growing number of remote work opportunities for independent adjusters. With Scoper Writer programs popping up all over the place, you can do photo and scope in the field, or you can just sit at home in your pajajays and write the estimates on what the scoper got when they were out in the field. And it doesn't matter where you live, as long as you have the internet, you can write claims as a desk adjuster, but you can't get that sweet gig without being licensed. So if you live in Nebraska, which doesn't require an adjuster to be licensed, you still have to have a New York license to write claims somebody scoped in New York, makes sense? Of all the credentials you need as an adjuster, there really is none more important than your adjuster license, especially your first one. You're gonna need it to do just about everything else, including some adjuster schools even require you to have one before they'll let you enroll. So you need Adjuster Pro. Adjuster Pro provides a comprehensive and easy to use way to get and maintain your adjuster licenses. Most importantly, Adjuster Pro was founded by independent adjusters and the team at Adjuster Pro is dedicated to helping you thrive as an adjuster with resources for every licensing state, including dead simple CE packages. Adjuster Pro is the gold standard for adjuster licensing. You'll find everything you need to get licensed in one place. Go to adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro right now. The trivia answer, composition roofing material is measured in square feet, square cubes, cubic feet, or squares. And the answer is D, squares. 
Some roofing materials like metal or membrane can be expressed in square feet, but wood and comp are always in squares. And what's a square, you may ask, if you don't know anything about this job? A square is a 100 square foot area. And if you're doing a test square on a roof, you'll measure off a box on the roof with your chalk or soapstone that is 10 feet by 10 feet on a side. Some guys, mainly roofers, will try to say that you can make your test square other shapes that add up to 100 square feet, but unless you've got a small area to work in or a cut up offset where you need to make your test square, just make it a square. If there's enough hail damage to total the slope, you'll find it in a 10 by 10. You do not have to make a two by 50 in order to make it work. Last month on Adjuster TV News, we shared with you that the iFirm Alacrity Solutions, formerly Whirly for all you old school adjusters out there, announced the grand reopening of their Waco Training Center and were having a big party to celebrate the day before classes began. Well, Adjuster TV was there and we got a full tour plus a complete rundown on the training facility, what it offers, and what you can expect when you sign up for training. My name is Taylor Jones and I'm the Vice President of Resource Management, Compliance and Licensing and Training and Development here at Alacrity Solutions. This is our Alacrity Solutions grand reopening of our training center. As we know, everybody was affected by COVID in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and we were no different. And so when we had the onset of COVID and we had to shut everything down, we also had to shut our training down. We think we did a really good job at innovating and adapting to that new environment. However, as the year went on, we realized there really just is no substitute for that in-person training. With that partnership and acquisition of 470 Claims, it provided us with some additional space and also larger space to really ramp up our training. So this year, we have a larger focus on recontinuing that in-person training safely of course but again there is no substitute and so we really want to have a huge focus on on that in-person training we're not going to stop on innovating we're not going to stop our virtual training and our online self-paced training but we really want to be able to bring folks in and have that hand on hands-on learning experience again so we're really excited so today is our grand reopening of the facility, so that unveiling of our new facility. So we did, we have had a training facility in the past. Again, we had to shut it down for quite some time. And so we really wanted to utilize this space that was fresh and be able to do some really cool things and innovate more with this space as time goes on. So today we are opening this up. You will see we will have a lot of adjusters here today, our 1099 resources, and you will also see a lot of our staff here today. So there's gonna be a lot of networking opportunities. Um, we will have our field managers here. We will have our SVPs of operations here. Um, we will have people from our business development team. Of course, our training team will be here today. So it's going to be a really nice event for folks to come and see what we're doing here at the training facility, but also network, meet with other adjusters, other resources, as well as a lot of our Alacrity team members. Welcome to the Alacrity Solutions Training Center. We're really excited to show you this new space. So come along, let me give you a tour. Welcome to our large auditorium space. This is where we host our largest client certifications, as well as any other large meetings or events that we may need to host here in the facility. Here is our software lab. We have 25 seats in here in which we host our software training as well as any other software or computer skills training. In this lab, again, we have 25 seats. We keep this small so that it can be an intimate experience and also lend itself more to that learner experience. Welcome to our additional training lab. In this lab, we can have meetings, small classes, and even host virtual content as well. This is our scoping room. This is set to mimic real life scenario. Here is an office home office space as well as a living space. Adjusters are able to come in here, actually get measurements, put in windows, doors, and even these, this cutout wall, and take it back and put it into our software in our training lab. And right through here, this is our product ID lab. We also have some additional small classroom space over here, but if you come with me and take a look at this wall, this lab is meant to mimic different materials that you would find inside of a home. This is our siding material. This wall here is focused on our roofing products. And this wall is largely dedicated to our interior products. And over here, we have our different framing materials you'll see. And if you look closely, everything in this space has a category and selector code from Xactimate or a symbility code associated to it. Over here, we will be teaching our damage assessment. You will see that we have wood shakes and shingles with different damages associated to them. Over here, we have our composition shingles and we will be training you on some damage assessment here, such as hail ID. 
All in all, we're so very excited about our new facility and we hope you'll come by and see us sometime. Alacrity Academy is where they're gonna find our training schedule. So we have a, a we have set out our schedule for the entire year for 2021. In December, we will do that again for 2022. But if they would go on to the Alacrity Academy, they're able to see our training schedule there and register for any trainings in which they see fit. If they have questions about them, they can always reach out to the training team and we can guide them along their path as well. For more information and to get started with Alacrity, visit alacritysolutions.com and click on the Workforce Resources tab at the top of the screen, then navigate to the Alacrity Academy. Coming up next, the fine folks who bring you Xactimate announced that Xactimate Mobile will now be able to take advantage of LiDAR technology in the latest iOS devices. And that's Apple iPhones for all you grandpas out there. Speaking of Xactimate, what is an F9 note? Is it an activity diary note, a token, a line item note, or a sketch annotation? Stick around to find out. As an independent adjuster, do you feel like you only have bad, expensive choices for health insurance plans? And when you have to use the insurance, you'll have to pay a lot out of pocket? Makes you wonder why you even have insurance in the first place. The stakes are high. Having no coverage puts you and your family at risk. It doesn't have to be this way. You want peace of mind with common sense health coverage you can count on that doesn't include things you don't need. You need real insurance with world-class protection from established carriers, not health sharing and not cobbled together prepaid medical. And you shouldn't have to wait for it. Get approved in days, not weeks. There is no risk and no cost to see if you qualify for these high quality plans. Not everybody will qualify, but you've got nothing to lose by getting a free consultation. Visit adjustertv.com slash health for more information and to apply. This is Adjuster TV. Okay, what is an F9 note? An activity diary note, a token, a line item note, or a sketch annotation? The answer is C, a line item note. So named because you could hit the F9 key on your keyboard and it would add a note to a line item. F9 notes are critical for keeping your estimates organized and clear for the insured and their contractor. Looking for more free Xactimate training? Go to adjustertv.com slash Xactimate right now. Last month, Verisk, the company that everybody used to know as Xactware, they, or they may still call themselves that. They launched the latest version of Xactimate Mobile, which includes new functionality for LiDAR-capable gadgets. And just so you know, this currently only works with your iPad or your iPhone that has LiDAR. What does this mean? Sketch AR with LiDAR, as it's called, automatically sketches rooms with your enabled device's camera. And it's currently available on the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and the iPad Pro 2020. LiDAR is an acronym for light detection and ranging, and it's been around since the 1960s. Here's Corey Reed from Verisk to explain more. Yeah, I'm Corey Reed. I'm director of development um, for the 3D visual intelligence group um, within Verisk Analytics. Um, we are um, the group that also develops um, Sketch for use inside of Xactimate and, um, and Sketch um, Mobile that's, that's also used inside of Xactimate Mobile. Um, the, what the LiDAR technology is doing is um, it's sending out basically a, a light signal. It's bouncing off that wall, coming back and hitting your device and it can time how long that signal took to hit the wall and return to your vice and give you a very accurate uh, measurement of the distance. Super excited about uh, the directions that the technologies have taken over the last even you know, six months a year uh, with the incorporation of LiDAR um, into uh, devices that are going to get into the hands of, of pretty much everybody. You know, Apple released the um, iPad Pro last year that had LiDAR um, built into it. And then this last fall, they released the iPhone 12 um, Pros that include the LiDAR. And, and that is a key technology um, for taking really this measurement capture system that we've been looking at for a long time, taking it to a place where it's um, more precise and it um, gives us the ability to make a very intuitive user interface to where it's, it's not a big learning curve to be able to, to use these new capture um, apps that we're building and um, super excited about it. So last year, 
we released what we refer to as Sketch AR. That's part of um, Xactimate Mobile. And that's using the augmented reality technologies that are available, uh, mainly uh, image video based with using other sensor data from the device. And those worked quite well. Um, but with the, the addition of the LIDAR now, the accuracy or the precision um, has, is just that much better. And um, we're really happy with, with the way that, with that precision and uh, the usability. What you do is you walk into a room and uh, load up um, the view and which is essentially a camera view and you point that at a, at a wall and it can identify basically all the information you need about that wall to have that become part of your 3D model. But essentially these LiDAR devices are, are able to capture um, a whole bunch of measurements on a wall and from those it can define uh, the geometry of that wall and then that can be added into your 3D model and as you capture each wall that can be used to, um, to create uh, all the dimensions and measurements for your room. And then as you move from room to room, you can create basically a full floor plan of your structure. Sketch AR is currently available in the full version of Xactimate Mobile on, again, iPhone 12s and 2020 iPad Pros. You can still use Xactimate Mobile on your other gadgets, but they just won't be able to use the LiDAR functionality. Get your Xactimate subscription right now from exactware.com. And coming up, Adjuster TV News has a brand new sponsor partner. Who was the first person to fly through the eye of a hurricane? Was it Joseph Duckworth, Race Bannon, Aaron Banks, or Steve McQueen? Find out after the break. Okay, so who was the first person to fly through the eye of a hurricane? Joseph Duckworth, Race Bannon, Aaron Banks, or Steve McQueen? And the answer, of course, is A, Joseph B. Duckworth. Regarded as the father of modern instrument flight, Duckworth's most notable single achievement occurred when he flew an AT-6 single-engine trainer into the surprise hurricane on July 27th, 1943 in the Gulf of Mexico near Galveston, becoming the first person to safely fly through a hurricane, including the eye. Hurricane hunters have flown reconnaissance flights into hurricanes in the decades since Duckworth's historic flight. Of course, no one ever mentions the other guys who, you know, flew into the hurricane and then were never seen again. We have a new sponsor. Are you new to the industry and wondering how you can get started as an independent adjuster with little or no experience? I mean, how can you get any experience if you can't get any experience, am I right? It's hard to get your foot in the door if nobody will give you a shot. Have you heard about the best claim solutions? You may have heard of them as the best IRS in the old days. Last month, we told you that they did a complete rebrand that better reflects their company goals, changing their name to the best claim solutions. These days, there's been a considerable increase in task-driven solutions requested by the best claims clients, which opens the door for new adjusters to get started. Adjusters can now get their foot in the door and gain experience with the Best Inspect program. Not only that, but they also offer continuous training to their adjusters and their compliance department helps keep you current on your licenses. Again, we're grateful and very, very humbled that The Best Claims has chosen to partner with the greatest insurance media platform ever created in history. For more information and to apply to get on their roster, head on over to adjustertv.com slash thebestclaims. Oh, one, go now. I'll wait. Coming up next, Max checks in from his current hail deployment in Texas with the latest CAT adjuster weather. And later, a couple of job postings you don't wanna miss. True or false, some coverages under a homeowner's policy or that can be purchased with it, either have no deductible or have their own deductible separate from the policy deductible. Stay tuned to get the answer.
Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Right. This is actually Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School. So you want to learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center of Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. True or false, some coverages under a homeowner's policy or that can be purchased with it either have no deductible or have their own deductible separate from the policy. The answer is true. In addition to the policy deductible, some homeowner's policies can have coverages that aren't subject to a deductible, refrigerated food loss as an example, or that have their own deductibles like a sewer and drain backup endorsement that might have its own $1,000 deductible. Sewer and drain backup is a very common loss type, and even though there's been a bunch of hail in the news lately, right now is the prime time for sewer backup. And speaking of sewer backups, here's Max to give us the skinny on the weather that tore up April and what the coming weeks look like for cat adjusters. Thanks, Matt. As you can see, we're reporting here from a hotel room in southeastern Texas. I'm actually out on a hail deployment with James Mathis, and guys, there is a lot of work out here. So if you're an adjuster that's looking to get deployed, I keep hearing of new opportunities every single day out here. So now's the time to start making those phone calls, get yourself deployed, and if you still have yet to pull the trigger, don't worry, because I think we're going to get into a very active pattern coming up here over the next few weeks. But first, let's go back. Let's look at some of the events that have led up to where we're at now. Let's talk about the three biggest hailstorms that happened this past April. All right, so the three most impactful hailstorms of April 2021. This first one, and actually the second one, were both marginal events that kind of hit people off guard. They were not hyped in the news days out. These were just events where you had uh, enough of everything coming together in order to create a supercell producing hail, and they happened to go over populated areas. This first one was on April 8th. This supercell started out in the country west of Waco, Texas. It made its way southeast in this corridor of instability that was present and did its most damage in the Bryan and College Station, Texas area. We can see here a report of 2.75 inch hail. That's baseball size and that will do a lot of damage. This is actually the area where where James Mathis and I are deployed right now. And we can see hail reports of 2.75 inch hail. That's baseball size on the west side of town there. South side of town, once again, baseball size hail. And I can tell you that we have seen every bit of that at our drive-in, looking at cars, lots of full roof and hood replacements. And I can only imagine what some of the homes look like around here. Our next day that we're gonna look at was on April 15th, and it was a similar type setup. We didn't have a big hyped severe weather event, we just had one lone storm that produced big hail over a populated area. This storm hit near Round Rock, Texas, which is a very big community, well over 100,000 individuals. Throughout this area, we can see a lot of smaller uh, communities just southeast and south of the actual Round Rock Town Center. Um, here we had hail in excess of two inches in diameter. It's about tennis ball size, still gonna do a lot of damage to a lot of homes and cars. Um, as you can see here, this report indicates that uh, it dented the car and broke windows. So we can only imagine what that did all throughout town here. The biggest event, however, was on April 9th. This was the most expansive as far as coverage goes. And we saw some pretty impressive storms here in Oklahoma, down into the Dallas area. And then probably my most, uh, at least intriguing event that happened here was down on the Alabama coastline. We had a storm that moved from the Gulf of Mexico, just east of of Gulf Shores producing four inch hailstones, which is pretty much unheard of in that area. 
absolutely broke all the records and caused a ton of damage. Uh, so softball size hail in this area, I mean, they had to have adjusters pulled in. That's just such a rare event. And I can tell you guys for a fact that there is work out there. There's going to be additional work coming forward as the weeks progress, we get more severe weather events. Let's see what might be on the horizon for the end of April and going into May. So going into the end of April and beginning of May, it looks like we are going to have a pretty active pattern unfolding. We see here that the jet stream, this is the current of air that resides about the height that planes fly. This is going to be continually pumping energy over the southern and central plains and then perhaps places further east. So I highly anticipate multiple severe weather events over the next few weeks. The first of which is going to start on Tuesday, April 27th. Then we're probably going to see a couple periods of severe weather going over the next couple weeks. And this is right in line with the climatological peak of severe weather season. So some of these could be rather significant. Stay tuned here to Adjust Your TV for additional updates and live weather coverage. I plan to be out storm chasing after I'm finished with this deployment. So you will see those live updates here on the YouTube page and we will always post the highlights at the end of the month. Thank you all so much for watching and stay safe out there. Thanks, Max. Be sure to follow Max on his own YouTube channel at Max Olson Chasing. And coming up after the break, we've got two job announcements. Did you know that there is an adjuster school out there that has a full catastrophe property claims deployment simulation that you can sign up for for training? Let's talk about this. Veteran Adjusting School in Sedona, Arizona is just such a school. As a licensed vocational school, Veteran Adjusting School trains you to become a complete insurance adjuster. When you graduate from the Voss trained insurance adjuster program, you are ready to begin your exciting new career, whether as a daily adjuster or as a cat adjuster. Listen, there are many outstanding adjuster schools out there and you've got to get trained somewhere. Voss stands out among its peers for the depth and breadth of its program, which is a six week catastrophe deployment simulation, complete with claims assignments, insured interactions, real damage that you can scope, as well as its continuing support and mentorship long after graduates become working adjusters, all of which provide a significant advantage to you. I mean, there's truly nothing else like it. Go to adjustertv.com slash VAS now and chat with an enrollment specialist who will answer all of your questions and help you decide if VAS is the right choice for you. Again, go to adjustertv.com slash VAS. In other news, Paystar Claims Service has an upcoming field adjuster training course in Dallas, Texas, May 3rd through May 7th. In addition to essential training, you will also have the opportunity to connect with representatives from their management and recruiting teams at the meet and greet on May 3rd. The training goes from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily, and the cost is $249, and I think that's a pretty good deal for five days of adjuster training. To reserve your spot, please send an email to catopportunities at paysetterclaims.com. And now for the job board. The regional TPA firm Candell Inc. is looking to build their roster for cat season throughout Montana and Wyoming. They're also looking for independent adjusters in the following areas. Bozeman, Great Falls, Dickinson, North Dakota, Rock Springs, Wyoming, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Adjusters need to be willing to cover a large territory and handle claims from all lines, including auto, property, marine, heavy equipment, specialty equipment, and even planes and trains. Experience in all of the lines is not required. To apply, go to candallinc.com slash adjusters right now. And Adjuster TV is hiring. I know this probably isn't the best place to post this, but I know there are a few of you out there who are really into video, and so this is for you. Adjuster TV is looking for a video editor who has some chops in Final Cut Pro. You'll help us edit Adjuster TV shows, log footage, and create descriptions for videos. If you're interested or you have a pal or family member who is a professional editor, send me a link to your editing demo reel. Ironically, I will say that if you're an active CAD adjuster, this will probably disqualify you from this role since we need you to be Johnny or Janie on the spot with editing projects. And I don't want you staying up all night on CAT editing videos when you need to be writing your estimates and sleeping. However, if you're a daily adjuster and you happen to have a passion for video editing, and yes, people like this exist, I'm one of them, then let's talk. Go to adjustertv.com careers for a little more info and to apply. 
So let's talk about collecting data for your claim, specifically getting measurements of things and the tools we use to accomplish this. There are three main gadgets that property adjusters use to measure things besides Hover and Eagle View, which you definitely can use those as well. We've got a 25 to 40 foot retractable tape measure, a laser, which I don't have because it's out on loan, and a 100 foot tape, which is, is kind of a common one. We use our regular tape measure to get measurements of things outside. Generally speaking, we measure windows, fence, gutters, roofs, etc. using this device. I have, over my career, I've purchased dozens of these things. I usually buy two or three years since they break pretty easily. And so over my 20 year career, that's something like 40 or 50 of these things at 30 bucks a pop. $35 a pop, that's a lot. Lasers we use inside since it makes getting measurements in a room a snap. Leica does make a laser that has a little camera on it so that you can use it outside, but these are very expensive and I'm skeptical that an outdoor laser would be faster or more accurate than just using a tape measure. But inside, they are absolutely amazing. Ceiling heights, large rooms, you name it, a laser will measure it. A regular laser shouldn't set you back more than maybe 100 bucks these days. And at twice that price, they're still very much worth it. Go on a hurricane without a laser and get back to me. For 100 foot tapes, those are for grabbing long exterior distances like fences, long elevations, and long ridges and rakes on roofs. Also, you can use a wheel, which I've seen guys do and I've used myself. But here's the problem with 100 foot tapes. One that you can wind up quickly is gonna be the size, almost the size of a car steering wheel. And you're not gonna clip this thing on your belt with every other thing. The small ones that have a little tiny crank, uh, this thing doesn't work for shit. The farther out it goes, the harder it is to crank in and it hurts your fingers. You know, if you have sensitive fingers like me. I've sent emails and made calls to Stanley and several other companies that make tapes like DeWalt and Milwaukee to see if I could get them to consider developing a robust retractable tape that extends at least 50 feet. And I got crickets. The consumer market, which is pretty much all we have to access when we go to the big box stores in every town to buy our tape measures, isn't interested in a bulletproof, long retractable tape. I even told Stanley that I would be willing to pay up to 300 bucks for a tape that would last more than five years. I mean, the thing gets used every single day, dozens of times a day, all summer long. And the fat maxes of the world just can't stand up to it. Never mind if you drop one, it's over. This thing will shatter on a driveway. Or if a helpful roofer or homeowner steps on the end when you're trying to get an elevation measurement instantly ruined and not repairable. I mean, maybe you can replace the tape in there, but it's gonna cost more than the 35 bucks for a new tape. So I was doing some research on concrete slabs and I saw a guy using a very interesting looking tape. He had it clipped to his belt and he would run it out and then let it slide back in hands-free. 100 feet, a 100 foot long retractable tape. Instantly, I went into Google search overdrive and discovered this little gem. You may be watching this and you're like, Psh, Matt, that's a logger's tape. I've got a drawer full of those things. Congratulations. But for the rest of you and me, this thing is revolutionary for the work that we do. The only drawback I can see is that right out of the box, there's no hook on the end. You have to either be a logger and create some kind of nail thing, or you can order a hooked end so that you can set it on a corner of vinyl siding and it won't slip off or damage the siding. So check this out. You can hook this thing on your belt loop or better yet, on your bully bag G2, and you've got 100 feet of whiplash fast retracting tape right at your fingertips. And if you really wanna get your hands on one of these right now, shoot me an email by going to adjustertv.com slash contact, and I'll get you some more information about this. I'm probably a bit premature announcing this thing, I want, but I wanted you to know about this thing the second I did, since I think it can significantly improve your ability to get accurate measurements in the field without having to lug around a freaking manhole cover on your belt. And this thing, this thing will go to 9,999 feet. You're never gonna get measured that far. So I've reached out to the manufacturer about working with them to make a version of this tape for adjusters that's ready to go right out of the box. So stay tuned for that. Again, email me at adjustertv.com slash contact and I will hook you up. Have you watched or listened to Adjuster TV radio? If you have questions you'd like answered by me and my guests, shoot me an email at adjustertv.com slash contact. All right, that's it for me. Just remember, nothing will ever be attempted if all possible objections must first be overcome. Thanks so much for watching and have a great storm.